been following all day. The Taylor County Sheriff's Office is confirming the 13-year-old has been found. She reportedly went missing back on March 12th from her grandmother's house on Yucca Street in Merkel. The girl was found late this evening hiding in a home on the 1000 block of South 7th Street in Merkel. Here's a little background on the story. An Amber Alert was issued for the girl this afternoon because it was believed the girl was in danger. Then, upon further investigation, the Texas Department of Public Safety pulled the alert, but local police continued their search. Now, this was the second Amber Alert issued in the big country in the past week. You may recall last Friday, two children were taking, taken during a supervised visit at a Haskell CPS office. The two kids in that incident were also found safe. And that brings us to tonight's top story. Both of these Amber Alerts happening in small, big country towns. Our Madeline Montgomery speaking with neighbors about their reactions to these happening in their own backyard. Madeline. Randy, residents told me that they're used to Amber Alerts out of Austin or Houston, but not out of a place like Merkel and not someone from their own street. Here are the reactions. It's terrifying. <laughs> Let yeah. me just tell you, it is. A feeling shared by many residents in Merkel Wednesday when a 13 year old girl went missing. Uh, having an Amber Alert here in Merkel, Texas was news to me. We've never had one here. But Amber Alerts aren't uncommon across the Lone Star State. Of the nationwide alerts out per year, 15% take place in Texas. Absolutely terrifying to me that it could be my kid that's missing. In 2015, 182 alerts were put out. Of that number, 153 cases resulted in the recovery of the missing children. But it still hits close to home when the person missing lives in your town. Everyone knows everyone here, so getting an Amber Alert here in Merkel is in shocking. Police determine whether or not a situation is worthy of an Amber Alert based on the safety of the child that is missing. Live in studio, Madeline Montgomery, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.